What's up guys and welcome back to Sidewinder Outdoors. Thanks for tuning in and checking out the channel. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment on this video. Uh, we're changing up this time. We're going to go to a couple distilleries in Lexington, Kentucky. The two we're talking about here is uh, Bluegrass Distillery and James E. Pepper. So we're going to talk about Bluegrass first and we're going to get into the logistics and stuff like that with uh, their distillery and how much the bottles cost and everything like that. So without further ado. So Bluegrass Distillery was established in 2012 in Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, most of their bottles feature a two-year age. Um, they do have some specialty bottles as well, like we had the Cedar Finish um, specialty bottle we were able to try out. They did not have the blue corn this time, but they did have this on display. The tours and the tastings at Bluegrass Distillery usually last 30 minutes and it's only five bucks. Uh, you're able to try out three of their bottles. Um, the three we were able to try out was Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey Finished in Hard Cider Barrel, Straight Bourbon Whiskey Weeded, and the Kentucky High Rye Bourbon Single Barrel. Uh, one of her favorites of the three tastings was the Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey Finished in Hard Cider Barrel. Barrel. It was 90 proof. Um, this is the one with limited supply. They only have um, about 330, uh, they complete, completely made, and it started on May 4th, and we went on this tour, it was, uh, August 15th, so supplies are very limited still, they said they may make a few more later on, but they don't know as of now, but, uh, it was made possible by a local brewing company, Pivot Brewing, the uh, bourbon was aged for two years before aging it again in a cider barrel, that's where it gets its taste from. The second bottle we tried was a straight bourbon whiskey weeded. That was at 100 proof. This bourbon is 75% yellow corn, 21% wheat, and 4% malted barley. This was our second favorite bourbon of the tasting. And it had a uh, oaky and warm vanilla taste and a flavor and a less peppery spice flavor to it. For bourbon to be considered bourbon, it must be made 51% from corn. If it's any less, it's not considered bourbon. It's one of the uh, specs that has to be to be considered bourbon is 51% or more. The third one we tried was a Kentucky High Rye Bourbon Single Barrel. It was at 115 proof. It also had 75% yellow corn, 21% wheat, and a 4% malted barley. It had a lot higher proof to it. it had a smooth, a spice, less pepper flavor to it. And it was our least favorite, but just because it was our least favorite doesn't, I don't want that to discourage y'all in trying it or uh, wanting to buy it because this is one of their most sold bottles here at Bluegrass. Uh, so we took two bottles home with us. The first bottle we took home was the Cedar Finish at a 750 milliliters, which is a fifth, and it was 50 bucks. And the second one we took home was the Weeded, and it was at 750 milliliters, and that's a fifth, and that was at 50 bucks. They don't make these in any uh, bigger, which are handles, or any smaller, which is a pint. You just stuck with those, uh, those uh, sizes. You can as well, with Bluegrass, bottle your bourbon and label the bourbon. It's a pretty cool offer they do here. Um, if you have time, I would highly recommend it do that. We didn't have a lot of time. Um, so if you do have time, I would do that. It's really cool. They as well have a video on this. I'll link that video in there for you all to look at that, but it's pretty cool. If you're in these states, you are in luck. Uh, Bluegrass can currently distributes to these states, Kentucky, Tennessee, Illinois, and Virginia. And there's four more states in the lineup coming at the end of the year into 2020. But unfortunately, North Carolina will not be a part of that lineup just because of the uh, strict alcohol laws we have in the state of North Carolina. We're in the top 10 of most strict, the most strict laws for alcohol, specifically whenever you have an organization like ALE that monitors um, these types of uh, spirits and everything. So if you are in those states, look out for that. Great bottle. Also, if you are in Lexington, Kentucky, and you do go to Bluegrass Distillery, and you do go to James E. Pepper, they are a part of the Bourbon Trail, so you can mark those off as well. And they do have booklets there that say which parts of Kentucky are in the Bourbon Trail and what distilleries are on the Bourbon Trail. So it's really cool. It's only three bucks. Uh, my girlfriend and I got that as well. And to wrap up Bluegrass Distillery, the person and the thing that stole the show was the cat Gypsy. Uh, com comment down below if I should get a cat because I thought the cat's name was Tipsy, and if I can get a cat and y'all comment, I will name the cat Tipsy. 